Yosen versus Saren. Finally, we fucking go into this match right now. About to So this episode had a really slow start. You seen like Saren, you know, being beaten by like these no name teams and I'm like, what the fuck, Saren? Like, what are you doing? Like it's like, come on, you're getting beaten by these no names. It was like the episode spent half the, half of it like going against these two teams that was like, Okay, we don't know anything about them, they're no name it's like why was it? It was pretty much just showing you yeah, oh, they're getting cocky. They say, like, you know, arrogance that they were getting, you know, beyond 100%. They were getting like 120% on that last match with Tohu. And now these other two games have gotten a little bit mushy. And we can, they're, they're not bringing out Kuroko. They're not bringing out Kagami. They're not got Tepe out there. I mean, they just got Hugo the captain and like a few of the other like no names on the team. It's like, come on, guys. Like, what are you doing? If you really want to start winning, I know not only use, you know, your best players and all that, but it's like. When you're getting pretty beaten, you're kind of going to have to do that. And as well, we see from Yosen how they've been doing. Their past two games, they have not, no opponent has scored against them. Like we saw one of their team scores, they got 0 to 81. But Yosen has had incredible defense. And they're saying, like, when we're looking at like, their coach, Raki, saying, you know, oh, we're just going to play the same as we always do, you know, super defensive, and we're just going to see how it goes against. Because we see, you know, oh, what's going to be, like, the whole thing with Tatsuya, because I thought Tatsuya was going to be a lot more aggressive. Maybe he is one of the more of the aggressive players on Yosen. Like, he, him and probably maybe Murasaki Bara are, like, the only ones that get really points in from the team. And you see, like, at the roundabout right about the like, halfway of this episode, you just see uh, Tatsuya talking to um, Alex, and it was, like, saying, oh, I'm stronger than you now. And he was like, he's had such a cockiness to him. He's like, I'm stronger than you, Alex. You know, like, I can take on, I can beat Kagami. Like, it's like, calm, bro. Like, I... Maybe you can be Kagami, but Saren right now, they're pretty fucking strong right now. And they're just saying, prove me wrong by seeing these guys' defense. Like, Murasaki Bala is a ridiculously sized man. There's like three members of their team is like two me over two meters tall. And Murasaki Bala is like, he must be like 6'8", like 6'6". Like, he has to be a ridiculous height or something. Because I think everyone in the team is pretty much around about vibes. And he has to be like ridiculously tall. Because it is like bad. I mean, I'm freaking 6'3". And it looks like he would look on top of me like, like oh, fuck. Like, and just see that his range covers everything inside the three-point line. What? Like, this guy has crazy reflexes. He has ridiculous length, uh, legs and arms and everything. Like, he has everything to stop them and it's like why why did they disband like the old team like why did they not keep the old team this like Murasaki Bara you had Aomine you had Kisei you had Akashi Kuroko you know we also use what you had um other guys well like it's ridiculous this team you had the perfect shooter perfect copycat perfect offense perfect defense you had the perfect of everything and though yeah yosen is a fully defensive team it's just like the old team was crazy like and we still don't know what akashi can do we just know pretty much every member but the captain now what they can do so it's got me really interested in that and overall this episode hit, had the issues at the start so i'd give this one a six and a half this week it was enjoyable but it was like come on the first half was like really uh dragged on a bit but the second half was really good and i'm getting a lot more excited for your sin and also just a little reminder i had actually started reading the kuroko manga i'm only like six chapters into the manga and god damn the art is it just me but is the art really bad at start of kuroko i know it's like a lot better right now like i've seen some of the like the latest chapters and it looks really good the art but the start of kuroko i want to know like when it gets really good the art and maybe how the story progresses later on in the manga because i'm probably gonna try and like my See if I'm interested enough to catch up after the anime ends, if I'm going to catch up to the manga. But so, we'll just see about that. But that's all for me. I was. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I remember, I'll see you guys.